my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. We're looking today at James chapter 1, verses 1 right through to 4. Listen to what James says. A servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, trials and tribulations. But he says this, Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many different kinds. So here is James. He's basically saying to all those who are scattered among the twelve tribes throughout the world. He says, I have a couple of exhortations to you. He says, first of all, I want the grace and the peace of the Lord Jesus to be upon you. That is two qualities that we should want in our lives every single day. The, the peace of God, which is the absence of personal conflict or warfare, that peace that passes all understanding, the thing that the world cannot give and the world cannot take it, we want it to be in our lives so then we can be dispensers and as well children who bring peace into others' lives. Then he says the grace of God, which is the undeserved mercy of God. We didn't get what we deserve, but God God in His grace and mercy extended to us that wonderful salvation. And with that, we also have the impartation to do whatever God wants us to do. Now he says, listen, he says, there's something happening. He says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you face all kinds of different trials. He's saying, instead of looking at these trials and tribulations, these problems and situations, as something as of a, of, of a, of a great um, attack. No, instead he says, consider it pure joy, because in this way, you are identifying with Jesus Christ. You know, the book of Hebrews says that Jesus learned obedience by the things that he he suffered. James is saying when trials, persecutions, tribulation comes your way, actually it's the joy of the Lord that will give you your strength. Because these wonderful things, these things that happen, you say, you mean trials and tribulations and, and uh, situations that are difficult are actually designed to do something in my life? Yes, they are designed to make you stronger, more creative, more resourceful, more trusting and obedient to the plans and purposes of God. That's why he said, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, because you know this, in verse number three, because you know the testing of your faith produces perseverance. He says, when all of this is done, this testing, these trials, it will actually give you endurance and perseverance. You'll be able to overcome because you become an overcomer. These tiles and trestings will actually give you a testimony. These, uh, these things that you have to conquer will make you a more than a conqueror. All of these are designed to do something. And then he goes on to say this, let perseverance finish its work so that something will happen to you. What is it? He says, number one, that you'll become mature. Yes, these things will actually make you mature. You see, it's the child that does not want to face the difficulty. But when you know that the end product is your maturity, then he says, number two, he says, the work will be complete. God is doing a work in your life and situation. Did you know that? God is working in your situation, in your life right now. He wants to make you complete. He wants you to make you whole. And then he says this, and not lacking anything. So there are three things that will happen with the testing of your first. When, when circumstances are difficult, when things are not good, three things happen. Number one, you become mature. Number two, you lack nothing. And number three, three, you are complete. These three things will be the result of testing, trials, and tribulation. And as well, you'll have endurance, you'll have perseverance, you'll have patience, and you'll have power. All of these things is what's designed, and God's design, of bringing about persecution and as well, testing from time to time. So remember that today. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class, and you have yourself a great and godly day.